Hello guys, welcome to RX Tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and then hit the like button if you like it. Today we are going to consider the if function. The if formula is such a useful formula or function in Excel. So in this case, we look at the formula for the if function. In the formula for the if function, we consider three arguments. In the first argument, we have the logical test. So in this case, you have to set conditions to be met. And then if these conditions are met, we look at the second argument. The second argument is the value if this condition is met or if this is true. The third argument is the value if this is false. That is pretty much the opposite. We look at our set of data. In our set of data, we have the months, our forecast revenue, the actual revenue, and then we have a set of criteria or scenarios that we've set here. In the first scenario, we'd want to consider for each month whether we hit our target or not. So if we hit our target, that means that our actual revenue should be equal or greater than the forecast revenue. So in the first scenario, we want to test if we met our target for the month or for the various months. So we start by writing our if formula and then Excel gives us a recommendation or it gives us how the formula should be. And in the first case, we have the logical test as I said earlier. And in the first logical test, we would want to say if this value that is the actual revenue is greater or equal to the forecast revenue then so then we come to the second argument in the second argument we have to specify what is the value if this condition is met or if this condition is true if this condition is true i want to say that we hit our target so all right hit target I'll put it in a double quote because it's a string of test. And in the third argument, I want to specify the value if this condition is not met. So what if this condition is not met? Then I would want to put in missed we missed our target. So I'll put in missed target. Close the formula. So in this case, since I want to pull down the formula, I'll make it a dynamic array. So we will not fix it. So in our first instance, in January, we our actual revenue was 250. Our forecast to revenue was 450. So definitely we missed our target. So we can just pull our formula down, and then we can look at the various months where we hit our target. In this case. Our uh, forecast revenue was 465, whilst our actual revenue was 500. So it means we, we exceeded our target. That's good. We look at the second scenario. In the second scenario, I'd want to test whether if our actual revenue is greater than 400,000, then good. So I want to specify this condition. So my logical test will be if my this actual revenue is greater than 400,000 so we can type in straight away the 400,000 a number or we can do a cell referencing but I'll prefer cell referencing because then you can be able to change the value if you decide to change at a later date you can just change it from the cell and then it will pick the cell value so I think it's proper that way so I'll do a cell referencing but don't forget we have to fix this because then we didn't want it to be dynamic we didn't want it to move when we we draw our formula down so we we'll have to fix it and four to fix and if this condition is met or if this value is true what do we what do we want to do so we want to specify if this condition is met then it's good so just in the case that we did we can do a cell referencing or in this case we can just type in so in this case i'll just type it in 
So if this condition is met, then it's good. If not, just leave it blank. And I'll close my parentheses. Yeah. So in this case, it was blank because this is 250 and it's 450. It's not it's less than 400,000. So let's draw. So we had a good here. Yeah, just do a quick check. And in the month of August, yes, we had 730. Yes, it's greater than 400,000. Yeah, that's good. So we look at our third scenario. In the third scenario, we want to set two conditions. So for, for the conditions to be met, we have two conditions or multiple conditions. In the first condition, we want to set that our actual revenue should be greater than 400,000 and should be less than six hundred thousand dollars so even though we can we met our target we want it to be less than six hundred thousand so we start by writing our formula in this case we have two conditions so we can use the end function in the end function the argument is our first logical test and then whether a second or a third because the end function can take multiple logical tests so in this case we only have two logical tests so we specify our first test is we want our actual revenue should be greater than 400,000 I'll not forget to fix this then my second logical test will be the same actual revenue should be less than 600,000 I'll do a second we'll fix this so my these are my two conditions so I can just put my end function then if these conditions are met what should be my output or what should Excel do so if these conditions I met I want a good so we write good and then if this condition is not met, the value, if this is false, then I want a blank. So, yeah, let's show this down. So we have only three. So let's check. In April, our actual revenue was 500,000 and our forecast revenue was 465. So, of course, it's greater than 400,000. And it's less than 600,000. We look here 450, that's our actual revenue. It was greater than 400,000 and it's less than 600,000. So if you look here, in August, our actual revenue was $730,560. But yes, of course, it, it doesn't meet the condition because it's greater than 600,000. So that's correct. We look at the fourth scenario. In the fourth scenario, we want to consider the first argument or the first condition is our actual revenue should be greater than 400,000 and less than 600,000. And then our second condition is our actual revenue should be greater or equal to 600,000. Then this is exceptional. And the rest, it means that we perform poorly. So case we start with the if and in the first you see that the first uh, the first part of our condition is almost is the same as our third scenario so you can just copy or we can just repeat the same for the benefit of that we can just repeat the same formula so in this case we use the end to specify our two conditions the end function our first logical test will be the actual revenue should be greater than 400,000 and then we fix this then a second logical test will be the actual revenue should be less than 600,000 and then we'll fix this as well and then that is a uh, yeah so we are saying that if this condition is met then good do a text and then the value if it's false so what about if these two conditions are not met 
what value? I, I would not want a blank, so I would want to output because this is a nested if. I'll do a nested if. So this will be if. So in this case, I'll specify another condition. In this condition, which is here, in this condition, what I want to do is I'll say our actual revenue should be greater or equal to 600,000. And then I'll fix this. And the value, if this is true, I would say this is, a, I would say, give me a sectional. Sectional. First, I would want to say a four. And then I'll close my first. This is for the first, the second one. If, and then I'll put the first if bracket. I'll do this so. And then I'll round this down. Yeah. So in the first scenario, yes, of course, it's poor because it doesn't satisfy both halves. So let's look at the exceptional. In the exceptional case, it should be greater or equal to. So yes, 700 is greater or equal to. In the 730, it's also greater or equal to. And in the last or the fourth scenario or condition we want to set, we want to check whether our actual revenue is greater or equal to $500,000 or is equal to $700,000, then it's good. So in this case, we are not binding our condition to two. If satisfy or if our condition satisfy any of the two conditions that we set, Either is greater or equal to five hundred thousand, or is equal to seven hundred thousand. Then is good or is great. So we write our formula. So in this case, we'll combine the if with an or function. In this or function, you have to satisfy. We have to set our logical test. And in our first logical test, we'll say that if our actual revenue is greater or equal to 500,000. Let's fix this. And then our second revenue, our second logical test will be our actual revenue should be equal to 700,000. Fix this as well. And then we'll close the all function. So if any of these conditions are true, what, what will be the value? So if any of these conditions are true, we want to sell to bring to give great. If not, we'll put a blank. Yeah. So let's see. So uh sorry. Great, yeah. Spelling mistake. You can just put this. So let's see here. So 500,000, yeah, is greater or equal to 500,000. And here, yes, is greater or equal to 700. So we look at 390, it doesn't satisfy any of these conditions. So that is that. So in a nutshell, the if function, we want to, if we want to check the if function, or we want to combine the if function with end function or the all function, then this is how we go about it. In the second part of the video, we'd want to find the various deviations or the deviations for each of the month. So in this case, our deviation is going to be our actual revenue divided by our forecast revenue minus one. So that's the deviation for the month of January. So we can just pull our formula down. So we have our various deviations for each of the month. So in the, sec in the second test or situation, supposing management want to reward employees with a 12% increment if they exceeded their target by 8%. So we'll write an if formula. And in this case, our logical test is 
were they able to exceed their target by 8%? So we can just write our formula in, or we can do a cell reference of this because we've already calculated. So in this case, we can just write our formula in. And our deviation is going to be our actual revenue divided by our forecast revenue minus 1. So is this deviation greater than 8%? If this deviation is greater than 8%, then everyone is going to receive a 12% increment. And then supposing this, each employee receives $5,000 a month, so we can do a cell reference in here. Don't forget to fix this when, whenever you do a cell referencing. So 5,000, so they are going to receive 12% increment. Is. So this is the value if this is true. And what if they are not able to meet this target? They are not going to receive anything. Nothing. So we check this and then we can just pull this down. In this case, in the month of May, they exceeded their target by 15.86%. So for sure, they qualify for this increment. So each employee is going to receive $600 that month. That's pretty good money. And then in July, the actual revenue was $450. The forecast revenue was $413,000. So it, it means they passed, they exceeded their target by 8.95. So they received that money. So we check. In this case, yes, they exceeded their target, but it was only by 2%. And then in the in the second, you know, in our last situation, we'd want to set two conditions, and these conditions are if they exceeded their target or if the deviation is greater or equal to two percent, and and it's less than seven percent. So same as how we went about the first. In this case, our deviation is going to be our actual divided by our forecast revenue, minus one. And, but in this case, we have two conditions. So we'd want to fix in or add the end condition. And in the end condition, like we did in previous, in the end condition, we have two logical tests. So if this deviation greater or equal to 2%, that's our first logical test. In the second logical test, is this deviation, which is this, which is the actual divided by the forecast revenue minus one, is this less than 7%? So we are done with our logical test for the end function. So if this value is true, then are going to receive a 5% increment in their salaries. So they are this they are five thousand dollar salary. So we have to fix this. So they are going to receive five percent. So the value if this is false, they will receive nothing. So let's check this. So in this case, yes, it's greater than 2 or greater or equal to 2%. Yes, it's less than 7%. And in this case, yes, it's less than 7%. So that is that. So subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button if you like this. And then watch out for more exciting videos on Python, on Tableau, on a lot of Excel videos. A lot of Microsoft Power BI videos, data analysis videos, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.